All right, so I'm trying to figure out how to get these bands to go away. I feel like they're worse than they've really been. Obviously, when I zoom in, they get smaller. But usually I want to export around this size, and you can see they're really severe. So I've turned off all the lights except for this one light pointing down. I uh, turned the environment off, obviously. Uh, and you can st still see them pretty intensely. So if I go to the lights, whoops. So I'm using a spotlight. Let's see if it changes if I use the sun. I don't really see them. I see them here. Point light, I don't really see them. So using the spotlight, intensity doesn't really make a difference. Doesn't look like softness, doesn't really affect them. Cone angle obviously shouldn't. Shadow, so when I get rid of the shadow, that does affect it. But obviously I need the shadow. So maybe it's softness, but softness just kind of makes it jump around. Obviously that's too soft. So I'm just kind of lost. I don't know what these mean, contacts, but if I turn it on and turn it up, no difference. So I just leave it on auto. If I, let's see, hopefully you can still see it clearly. If I go to post-process, I'll just zoom in. So if I look at post-process, I turn it on, it gets worse. Reflection doesn't do anything. Global illumination doesn't do anything. Oh, that, that looks nice though. Ambient occlusion doesn't really affect it. There's no depth of field, so that doesn't do anything. Bloom. Tone mapping, which I always just keep on. And there's nothing else that I'm seeing the environment, I don't know if I turned it on before. The environment doesn't do anything, it's still there. And looking terrible. So the only thing that I'm seeing that helps it is if I adjust the light and turn the shadows off. No shadow, then no banding. But that doesn't really help me. Uh, and I can't think of anything else that it could be. I'm going to turn post-process off. All the materials, like all this stuff, I put back to opaque. Or I guess not the eyebrow, but the mane and the head and everything I put back to opaque. I had it in subsurface. And I don't... Yeah, so I don't know what else it would be. I'm at a loss. If anyone knows any tricks or what that might be or if it's just the rendering thing but it's, it's weird that when i render this these show up but when i zoom in like they obviously change you know like they look different now that i'm zoomed in but it just sucks because i want to render around this size and i can't because like that looks really bad so yeah let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions 
or if this happens to you. All right, see you in the next one. And shout out to, where's it at, where's it at? Dave Le Dessineau for these, um, this amazing drawing that I, uh, that I'm using as a reference. This cute little zebra it was really fun to draw or to sculpt.